What is up, YouTube? Excellent Samurai ID here, back again with Mega Bytes. And this episode, I have Snappers Crunchy and Salty and Sweet Milk Chocolate Caramel Pretzel Gourmet Chocolate Caramel and Pretzel Treats. This is going to be interesting. Nutrition facts for all those that want to know. Serving size, one-fourth or 1.4 ounces. About three pieces. Mm, yeah. Calories, 160. Calories from fat, 50. Total fat, 5 grams. Saturated fat. 3.5 grams cholesterol 5 milligrams sodium 65 milligrams total carbohydrates 25 grams dietary fiber 1 gram sugars 11 grams protein 2 grams vitamin A 2% vitamin C 0% calcium and iron 4% uh, to the ingredients and allergy stuff. Ingredients. Caramel. Sugar, corn syrup, evaporated milk, heavy cream, butter, salt, pure vanilla, soy lecithin, and emulsifier. Pretzel. Unbleached, enriched wheat flour. Wheat flour, theamine, riboflavin, ni niacin, niacin, whatever. Iron, folic acid canola oil and uh, no, malt and salt milk chocolate sugar cocoa butter chocolate liqueur okay <coughs> pardon whole milk soy lecithin pure vanilla contains wheat milk and soy allergen alert made uh, on equipment that also processes peanuts tree nuts and eggs. So if you are allergic to anything that I just said, don't eat these. Rip this bad boy open. Mm. Boy, this is not easy. Mm. One of the hardest packages I've opened yet. Whew. Work out for the thumbs. Ooh, you immediately get hit with this just rich chocolate and caramel. Ah, that's one nice up close. Yeah. This, this is going to be interesting. Okay. Less crunch than I was expecting. Almost no crunch. Unlike what their name would insinuate. Hmm. Little chocolate on the fingers. So they're a little melty. But nonetheless, they're good. Mm. The caramel is really sticky. Mm. I'm quite enjoying that. Yeah. Two bowl. Pour a few of these lumps out. Yeah. Pretty darn good. Definitely, yeah, the pretzels that they have soaked up a lot of the moisture from the caramel. It made them a little soft, but that's not the point of this. Um, let's go test them out with that game. 
Now, all right, forgot to make mention of the cup of over here. Still out of Mountain Dew, unfortunately. Good old trusty spill resistant Deadpool. Got a little spill that time, which is pretty rare. Okay. But y'all know the name of the game, Binding of Isaac. Play and test this stuff till I die. And my win streak is looking miserable. Let's get it on. Figured why not. Don't get me wrong, they are delicious, but they're huge. You can't just chipmunk these. That was the shortest run thus far. Alright. Uh, that's it. Well, may have been short, but I 
definitely got a good grasp on these. <clears throat> oh yeah. Yeah, definitely got a good grasp. They are delicious, not quite crunchy. Got that nice sweet and salt down to the ratings of deliciousness, meltiness, and grabability. Uh, deliciousness. I'm going to have to give that a dead on five. As I said, that just had the sweet and the salty at just the right level. Yeah, it, it was it was good. Oh yeah, but because of that meltiness that just takes a drop, not a big drop because they're not too melty when you just grab them. It's not too bad, so it's about a three, three on that meltiness. And grabability. Uh, Four. Got to give that a four. I'm. They're lumps. They're not too easy to grab because they've got some awkward bits. None of them are even all the way around to grab. And the undesirableness of the chocolate left over on your finger that you have to wipe off before you touch the keyboard. Yeah, four. On that grabability. All in all, not too bad. Average score about 3.5. They're good. I definitely recommend them. If you can get them shipped to wherever you're at by ordering them online, definitely give them a shot. Because they're definitely, definitely worth the money. But that's it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. Comment in the comments below. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And until then, I'll see you all next time.